Leave a place cleaner than you left it. A common phrase taught to us, to many of us, as children. But with no one to enforce the rule, how many people actually follow it? Cronkite News reporter Nicole Hernandez spoke with volunteers in the Coconino National Forest who say the government shutdown left the ranger station trashed. Red Rock Ranger Station in Sedona stood empty and trash ridden for weeks. I was really disappointed. I was very disgusted when I saw that. Arizona Natural History Association, or ANA, is a nonprofit organization that runs a gift shop at the ranger station. For the first few weeks of the government shutdown, this building was completely empty, so doing something as simple as getting a map was impossible for visitors. The U.S. Forest Service opened the doors for ANA, allowing them to keep the ranger station going during the shutdown. Now visitors can learn about Sedona, getting help and souvenir stamps during their stop, and understanding how to care for the park in the absence of rangers. To me it says that people are not informed, and so for us to be here and inform them, it once again becomes such a big responsibility for us. Yeah, they're wonderful, they're really friendly. Volunteers, huh? it's like they, they're happy to be here. You're very welcome. The ANA employees who normally get paid for their work in the stations are going without a paycheck. And since they aren't federal employees, they won't get back pay. My husband is also a federal employee, so that's two incomes not coming in to our house. But they still show up, assisting the three to 500 people who show up every day. It's not just a job. It's what we do. In Sedona, Nicole Hernandez, Cronkite News. Volunteers stress that educating visitors is important especially those who come from out of the country and don't know anything about the current government shutdown.